Hi, this is Chris from windsound.com. In this video, I'll be showing you all the different edit modes and how to use them in Pro Tools 8. Let's check it out. The four different edit modes that there are is spot, shuffle, slip, grid, and relative grid, which you can get to just by clicking on the grid, goes to relative grid, click it one more time, goes back to absolute grid. Okay, so starting off with spot mode. Spot mode is is pretty neat. It's pretty it's a pretty neat mode. Just click on a region and you can type in where exactly you want that region to start and so forth. You can do that in bars and beats, minutes and seconds, and in samples. It's, I'm just gonna show you in bars and beats. Let's have it start at the beginning of measure nine or eight, sorry. Uh, enter. You see it brings it right to measure eight. Then also another nice trick you can do in here is say you just want to send this region back to where it originally was recorded. Go down to original stamp, original time stamp, and click the upper button. As you can see, all the settings are set back to where it originally was which is great for m many of different reasons. Just click OK or Enter, and it sends you right back. All right, shuffle mo mode. Kind of, this mode kind of does like what it says it is in its name. It shuffles the regions back and forth. To show you an example, like say I just want to get rid of this little section right here, however, I want this part to go immediately after this section right here because it's all in time. And this was just like a little like say there was like a clip, like a pop or just like it's like kind of an awkward silence or or whatever the reason is. Just simply highlight it, delete it, and that region slides right over. It shuffles over, if you will. Okay, and now slip mode. Slip mode is great. It's very open, just lets you pretty much do whatever you want, just slides everywhere. No matter, like, yeah, wherever you want. It's a very, very great mode. Very, very simple. And basically lets you get to, like, all the functions that you want. It's very, very open. Now for grid mode. Grid mode only works if you're if you played to a track and then you need to make sure that you set up set the grid to set the grid to the to the click sorry and you can set the notation as you can see the grid behind the regions change as I'm doing so I'm gonna set it to quarter notes okay and now when you slide it over, it just slides to the grid, which is great. Because now, if I just want to slide this over to the top, or or no, if I want to set it to the second beat of measure four, I can just do this like simply sliding it over like such without having to zoom in and really make and without making yep, sorry without having to make the move really precise with my mouse and so I'm making sure it's all measured up. In this mode, it's just going to slide straight over there. You know, top of beat measure two. There you go. Very, very simple. And relative grid is the same way except it's even, even more precise. Whereas absolute grid is more just like the top measures and like whatnot. It's relative grid is it's the same thing but just a little bit more precise than absolute. You can always get in touch with Chris at Wingsound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos including these titles featuring Pro Tools 8, available on demand at Wingsound.com.